Cindy again with uh, Arts and Healthcare. This is my second week uh, playing, or I've been for the past week I have been playing uh, this keyboard in hopes to get into better insight and understanding of what it means um, to play an instrument um, and the impact that the music itself playing on the keys might have on uh, my own well-being. Let me be honest, it was a rough week. Many things came up. Uh, I had been so distracted with a neuroanatomy class, completely lapsed in judgment uh, with working in this class, and that made it difficult for one of the group projects to, uh, I completely, completely was absent-minded, completely irresponsible, and it pretty much left me feeling vulnerable very stressed out. <laughs> I had no idea uh, that by focusing so much on an exam for my neuroanatomy that I was disregarding all of my other classes and the clear consequence of that uh, was a mishap of my own and my own fault. And so, to be honest, the piano helped. <laughs> I normally hate playing the piano. just bad experience growing up, uh, but it was actually nice to be able to practice daily. As you can see, or you can hear, I should say, I'm still not perfect. Uh, I, I don't think I'll be able to master this particular piece, even if it's only one, one, one piece, um, one page of a, a piece. Um, I played hours and hours and hours more so to relieve frustration. Um, one of the things that I <laughs> had to deal with was number one, studying for a test. Number two, uh, figuring out how to balance not only this class, but another class and another class. And that made me feel very overwhelmed and very frustrated. And sometimes I felt very angry because not only was I balancing schoolwork, but I was balancing relationships, um, friendships, family this past week. It was just everything um, to, to go along with that um, I had a premarital counseling session with my pastor and so there's a lot of stressful uh, situations going on in my life and the only outlet that I had uh, fortunately for this week was piano um, now I did get frustrated I'm a, a slight perfectionist and so the fact that I was not able to play it perfectly, um, not able to follow the keys, the fingerings, because they're numbered, it was very frustrating. It made me feel um, inadequate. Um, but at the same time, I had to change my own view. Uh, I had been focusing so much on trying to play this key perfectly, and my goal was to like play perfect piece for uh, you guys, for my audience. And I ended up not necessarily going that route. Instead, the route that I took was probably for the best, a little bit better. Um, I, instead of focusing on perfection, I started focusing on just release, a release, a release of stress. So I would just play, 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 play. You know, you know I got to the point where I was just, you know, starting to play my own songs. Um, one song, you know, that really got to me, um, just really just any form of melody, any chords, you know, that I could think of. And just a release in playing that instrument really helped me, considering it was a very rough week. Um, I am really debating whether or not I will continue this next week uh, with piano or whether or not I'm going to try something else. Uh, I can be perfectly honest with you and say that piano is just not something that I have a good uh, memory of. Uh, I had pretty much a nervous breakdown when I was little and that's why I stopped playing. Um, just, just the rules and constant, constant practice and my desire to be perfect was very difficult. So it's difficult to reintroduce piano as a stress reliever because it used to be the cause of my stress. So, 
Um, but it's certainly been insightful for me. Um, I know for one, I had previously uh, focused so much on the perfectionism without realizing the potential benefits of instruments. Um, from this past week in practicing, I was able to not necessarily focus on being the best, being perfect because I'm not, but I was able to focus more so on what I can do as an individual. I am capable of so much. You know, there are instances that are beyond me, you know, test dates, uh, unexpected family emergencies, unexpected relational problems, and what I can really see as a benefit for those who are even inpatient or outpatient or struggling with a disorder or whatnot is that just as so many areas are completely out of my control, areas for them are completely out of control. And music is a wonderful way, just playing a key is it's a wonderful way to reestablish control in a healthy manner. Um, you see instances where people uh, maybe in order to establish control in a, a turbulent um, lifestyle so to have a disordered eating or you see uh, people who aren't able to maintain control and then they become alcoholics or uh, get into the realm of drugs, drug use. Music, art, drama, these are things in which are a wonderful outlet. You're able to reestablish yourself, you're, re you're able to get in touch and you know, really utilize your cognition, um, the, the expressive and creative components of your being. And that is clearly a beneficial thing. Um, and that's something that I was able to sort of grasp at uh, when I was crocheting my emphasis was on maybe hand therapy treatment and that's kind of how I was initially looking at the piano um, great for hand tactile um, movement you know however there's a little bit more than that. It has a little bit to do with uh, control and outlet. Um, let's say that I'm in a sad mood. You know, I want, I want to release that, and so I play a song that is maybe more melancholy. Um, or maybe if I'm angry, you know, I can, can just jab, 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 jab. A piano, you know, a release. Um, even in a good mood, you know, you can really express that in, in music. And that is something that when I was a little kid, I didn't take advantage of. And I really wish I did. And I can see the benefits in healthcare and why it is used. And it was, you know, Shan's um, medicine. Right, what is it? Art and medicine. Um, can see the benefits. So uh, this past week, uh, in summation, uh, I just want to continue to let you know that this is a viable, viable outlet. I might not be the best, and it doesn't mean that you have to strive to be uh, the best at a, a particular instrument. But you know, there are so many more positive uh, effects of playing an instrument. You know, just a stress reliever as a way to zone out and really separate yourself from the difficult situations that is. So, uh, next week I hope to introduce to you uh, a new form of art. I'm really kind of, I've explored um, maybe art in the sense that you can help rehabilitate a hand. That was what crocheting kind of helped me with with occupational therapy. Um, I've experienced a set of art in which playing an instrument, putting back control, um, can really influence and impact a person. What I'd like to do um, in the next few weeks is to examine art um, by maybe listening to music, 
um, the auditory sensations and how that can be soothing release, um, or possibly seeing uh, maybe art, um, theater. You know, I think that that's one of the things um, that could potentially be a benefit for those who are ailing, um, whether it's listening to soothing music or uh, watching a play. I, I want to be able to talk about those um, in, in future blogs. So I thank you again for uh, listening to this particular blog, I believe. Is this the fourth? Fourth blog. Already fourth blog. We're already at that point in the semester. But anyways, this was Cindy. It was wonderful talking to you. Um, leave a comment, um, any feedback. If you are instrumentally inclined, tell me about it. Uh, if you are not, um, or if there was something in which you had questions about, you know, my methods, um, how, you know, I felt. I mean, there are plenty of questions that I could possibly answer. So just uh, shoot me an email or a comment on um, my YouTube page or even my blog page for the class, and I'll be more than welcome to answer any questions. Um, but that was this vlog. See you next week. Bye.